I'd like to give you a little demonstration of card cheating in poker. Now the first rule of card cheating is you never trust a card cheat. And that's because card cheats work with partners, which means the person dealing usually won't be the person taking your money. I'll give you an example. Now in a game of poker, you really never need anything better than say trips or a two pair to win the hand. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's use the four jacks just because they're easier to follow. Now, this is how it works. The four jacks start at the top of the deck and we're gonna cut the jacks into the deck, but we're really keeping track of them. And as we shuffle, we're not really as concerned with mixing the cards as we are with rearranging them in the right order. Now, as you would with any poker game, after you shuffle the cards, you're gonna cut. Now this part's hard. If I cut the cards at exactly 28 cards down, I should be able to stack the deck for a four-handed game of draw poker. Now, as you can see, when I deal, the deal is extremely fair, every card coming off the top, because we cheated when we shuffled, which means the deal can be fair, and anyone can do the deal. Now, I want you to see that the jacks really have been dealt from the deck, because I want you to see what it's like when a card cheat deals his partner a pat hand, because the jacks actually belong to this player over here. But there's only one problem. This player is not my partner. He's a fool we're trying to scam for money. He's about to lose all his money to the player sitting over here, the player with the four queens. But don't get me wrong, he's not my partner either. My partner is this gentleman over here, the player with the four kings. But remember what I said, the first rule of card cheating is never trust a card cheat.